Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, uh, we got something brand new. We have a tutorial on how to get GBA for iOS, AirShow, and NDS for iOS all really fast. So let's go ahead and get into this. So you know, open up Safari and go to iEmulators.com. Once you've gotten here, um, yeah, actually, let's research again just to verify that this is your website. Uh, you want to go to iEmulators.com. You'll see here, you'll take your website that looks like this. Uh, this how to jailbreak tutorials. Uh, you can see here, you can easily jailbreak your device if you want. But, you know, it's still jailbreak app to recently an airplane brick and stuff like that. Yeah, you want to go to apps on your page. And you can scroll down. There's the jailbreak thing. And. Stuff like that if you want it. Sorry, you can see my uh, screen froze up a little. Give it a second. It does this. Okay, here, there we go. Fine. Okay. And then you'll see Air Shower, which we'll get to that one last. And then there's GBA for iOS 2.1. I recommend 2.1, which is better. In my opinion, it's better because you can do uh, GBC games and GB instead of just GA. So I recommend getting uh, 2.1. You want to tap on it with the download page. Once you've made it to the download page, you want to go down and there's a signed or date brick. I recommend the signed one because you can possibly get stuff locked out of your iPhone for like a year almost. It happened to me almost one time until I had to uh, reset my phone. Okay, you need to do the signed one. And plus, that's like the easiest way. You can tap install and uh, tap install. And then uh, install GBA for iOS. And uh, then you will go over here and it will install. I see I already have it installed. But whenever you do it, it will not let you open it. So to sign it, to trust it, uh, you just want to go to general, go all the way down here, and then you'll see profiles and device management under VMP and above. You go to tap on it. I'll go all the way down to the bottom and. Uh, it should be uh, this one. It'll be Mar Marga Relative Pty Ltd. And uh, where it says delete app, it'll say trust uh, thing. And uh, as you can see next to the GBA for iOS icon right there toward at the bottom, it says verified. And uh, that's how you do that one. And uh, now on to the next one. If you go back to the apps page... Um, go on over here to apps again, scroll down, and, uh, down towards the bottom. There's also IDOS emulator and INDS. Those are base. those are the same things, pretty much, uh, as the NDS for iOS. Yeah, then here's the NDS for iOS. Now, this one is different. Uh, you want to, uh, tap install. And whenever it does that, uh, it'll tap install, and you want to go back over here to your phone, your iPhone, and you'll see it says waiting, see the app, NDS for iOS, it says waiting, loading, you're going to want to be ready, you just want to sit here, and be ready, I recommend turning Wi-Fi off, wait, as it's saying loading, eventually it will get to installing, and then press airplane mode, and then let it install the rest of the way. There you go. It's been installed. You can turn on Wi-Fi, turn off airplane mode, and now it's accessible. But not right now. Untrusted developer. Uh, then all you gotta do is do the signed thing again. And then um, go to profiles and device management. You'll see this one. Um, you'll see it. And uh, you just want to trust it. You'll see this one right there. All right. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do that one. And uh, it's the same process for Air Show. And so there's not really anything that I should like do a tutorial on for Air Show. And uh, of course now it'll let me in because it remembered that I had verified it. And uh, but yeah, but yeah, guys. I hope you guys found this video informative. And, um, uh, hope you guys 
uh, get this before they, like, fix it or revoke the, uh, signed stuff. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.